Hey everyone, it's Adam Ratliff here with Adam So Fun. Um, so I am on my final row. Um, you can see I have my pins still in, my top. Um, everything is set up. It's ready to go, except I don't want to sew on my leader. So I need to um, unpin and stitch down my sides. Um, at the beginning, we made... I knew the quilt was 77, but I made my quilt box 82. So I'm gonna have to crop a few inches off um, that bottom row. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. But first thing first, I have to um, take these pins out and I wanna base down this bottom edge. Again, I'm gonna pull out my favorite tool, my Versa tool. Um, I already put my Surefoot back on because I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna use my Versa tool, the Surefoot, to stitch down this bottom edge and make sure that everything stays nice and taut and straight. So um, I'm gonna switch so you can see what I'm doing with my hands and then we'll switch back so you can see the screen for whenever I'm going to crop out that edge. So um, let me change the candle, camera angle and I'll see you in just a second. All right, so now I'm ready to take these pins out. Um, I'm setting my machine back to um, my five basing stitch because that's what I like. Needle down, needle up to pull up that bobbin, and I'll tie off really quick. And I like my needle stop, needle down. So um, I'm going to take out a few pins. In this case, a few is two. And fold this back, and now I can see where my corner is. I can use my Versa tool to hold that all down and stitch down to the bottom. So now I fold this leader out of the way because we just I don't want to sew over it. I can use my Versa tool to hold down all of that extra fabric and hit start, stitch across, stop, take out a pin, fold everything back, use my Versa tool, stitch over. And I mean, it's not a super fast process, but it's keeping everything nice and taut because everything's pinned on. And I can keep this seam right next to the edge or the bottom edge. You can see I'm stopping the machine every time I move my ruler, but I will continue this all the way across and then we'll come back with the screen and I will show you how to um, crop that last row. I'll see you in a second. All right, so now if, um, our bottom edge is basted down. This is where I would come in with my batting shears and cut my batting off, making sure you're not cutting off your backing too. Um, that's why I like these batting shears because they do have the blunt tip. You can just kind of slide and cut as you go. Um, in this case, I don't have a lot of batting hanging over, so we're not going to worry about doing that right now. The other thing is always make sure that you have enough backing and you're not going to be stitching right onto your leader. Um, I do hear that a lot when I teach like, oh, and I stitch, stitched right onto my leader. Um, check that. I mean, it's easy to see. Here's the edge of my leader. I know that I have a few extra inches on that backing that I made, so I'm okay. So um, first things first, I need to clear out this um, area. Um, you're, you want to cancel out of, you know, down here you're going to see resume and, uh, cancel. You want to cancel out of what's currently happening in your post-stitcher because post-stitcher wants you to hit resume and stitch that last row. But if I stitch that last row, I'd be hitting the bars. This is as far as the, my machine will move forward and there's still like a half inch on that design. We want to crop that so it's only going to stitch what I need. So um, I hit cancel. I'm going to come up to area and I'm going to hit clear because we want to clear the area that was currently the whole quilt. And remember, you can only have one area in your workspace at a time. So now, here's, here's my design. Now, when I make this final area, I just need it to be as big as this final piece that it's quilting out. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit my area tab, and I wanna go higher than my final row, but I don't need to come out that inch anymore. So I'm gonna come and hit my two corner. And then I make sure that it's gonna go all the way around and everything's gonna be fine. Come over here and um, just a little bit bigger and I'm gonna hit two corner one more time. And now if I zoom in, 
you can see my area box and that's the only part we need to stitch. So we are going to um, crop that out. I'm gonna bring the screen in closer. Let me see if I can just zoom in. Maybe that might work instead of having to reset. Hey, that worked pretty well. All right, let me just move this down a tidbit. There we are. I'm gonna walk in front of you, sorry. All right, so um, we have our uh, purple area box and that's all that we need. So first things first, I'm going to go modify. I already have crop selected um, in our ribbon. Our sidebar, we wanna click outside because we don't want it to stitch those outside and we wanna close those edges. And um, this is a very important step. We wanna baseline this. You'll see that there's some um, starts and stops on here. I'll tell you about that in a second, but we wanna baseline this because we, here's our start point. I'm gonna zoom in. Here's our start point, and that's that row that we previously stitched. We don't want it to stitch that. So we wanna go pro stitcher in our, in our tabs, new start in on our um, ribbon. Oops. You start in on the ribbon and then the sidebar right here where it says jumps, we want to hit push down because we want it to move to that second row. Um, if you did not baseline and you hit that jumps button, it goes somewhere and I'm not really sure where it goes, but it does not go to this next point. It's going somewhere in these pieces. Um, so you always want to do that baseline first. The other thing is I said there were starts and stops. We'll zoom in. There's a start and a stop. This is because, well, I don't really know, the above my pay grade, but what I think it is, is that the design, these designs stitch out and it stitches over here and then comes all the way back and then goes back over. And it, it's just too far or a different part of the design or maybe the next piece of the design, I don't know, but it won't go that, um, just stitch that distance. So in this case, when it stops here, I stitch it. It's just a straight line, it's not on the quilt. So I will let it stitch to here, it will stop, I will stitch to that next start point and then hit resume and then it continues and I'll um, continue that um, the three times. So um, let's see, I'll show you that. Let me zoom you back out. <laughs> so coming over here, I have that new start in. So that's how you crop that last edge. Um, in this case, because there's not a lot of seams or anything, this is just a border. I am not going to worry about putting the glide foot back on. Let's see, it's going to start. All right, so this was my first start, a uh, stop point. Um, I could tie off and cut, but this is off the edge of the quill anyway. So who's going to, who's going to see it? Nobody is going to get thrown in the trash. So this is, I'm just going to hit start, stitch over to my next start point, which is there. So now I'm at that next point and I'm going to hit resume. Um, it will still do my tie off and pull up. I don't even worry about doing anything there. I just hit resume one more time. Again, all off the side of the quilt. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to continue and finish this out. Thank you so much for joining me and um, through the process of quilting this out. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you got a few tips and tricks. Um, remember, follow me on um, social media, Adam So Fun on Facebook and Instagram. You know, go follow me and like my pages, um, adamsofun.com. Send me emails at adamsofun at gmail.com. I love what I do. I love helping people. So if you have questions, shoot, shoot them out. I'm always happy to help. Thanks again, and I'm going to finish this, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.